Okay, just finished pouring in the four total of four total gallons of hard cider or cider into the bucket. Um, the bubbles you see on there, that's mostly the star sand bubbles that um, were still in there from just when I cleaned it. Um, so we got to take a temperature. We don't want to throw the yeast in when it's hot. Um, I got a laser thermometer, so. Um, just happen to have this for working on my Jeep. So it's 80 degrees. So we'll hold off for a little while. Um, we want about room temperature. We don't want any higher. Um, I've been reading more and more um, about uh, yeast. If they're not under the right conditions, they uh, can put off flavors into your um, beers and ciders because they're under strain. So we'll wait a little bit here for that. And speaking of which, um, so this is the red. This is Red Star. Um, they're a big brand that uh, carries. This is dry yeast. Um, usually they say, uh, you know, you can rehydrate this. Um, I've done this multiple times without rehydrating it, but that can also cause strain on your on your yeast here. Um, the other thing I would say is, I only have one right now, but um, they're saying a lot of people aren't using enough yeast in their beers and ciders. Um, and that they should start maybe um, reading up on it and that you actually lose quite a bit in just the initial fermentation. So it sounds like maybe most people are doing about half of what they should be doing. So if I had more of this and I, if I knew it was going to be a problem, I would probably go get more of this. But I've done this multiple times with just a single packet of this stuff. And yeast can also go bad, so you want the freshest you have. This is old, so I'm kind of taking a little risk here. But... Um, We'll see what happens. If I have to, I can um, throw another packet in later if it doesn't ferment like I want. Um, but since this is all I have on hand, we'll make it do. So we'll just wait. Um, and then what you want to do is you find, want to find a place in your house that the temperature remains pretty um, uh, constant and there's not a lot of fluctuation. Um, basements are good if, uh, if it's the right time of year. You don't want anything getting too cold. Um, about room temperature is where you kind of want uh, most um, fermentation to be done. And before I close this up, I'll take a, an actual OG since um, uh, that was with the cider without the sugar in it. So we'll see what our potential could possibly be on this beer, on this cider. But we'll actually throw in a, another gallon of uh, regular cider. So it'll be off a little bit, but it gives a good idea. Um, we'll do that in a second here. 